make it now. Yeah. How we see places that we don't really understand. How the butterfly build the caterpillar and make a hand. Make a way to make a plan. And how can I speak and make a man? I'm not speaking from the soul again. This night was day. How you playing the tennis? seekers and welcome back to this captivating corner curiosity on this delightful digital domain we call I can do it most this, this, this room. room is that we are today before Anu before the proto-indo-european pantheon before the Pelasgians inhabited the Mediterranean homo sapiens exited the realm of Africa and they came from modern day Ethiopia. And they went into three different directions. One direction towards the Black Sea Mediterranean world, another direction towards the Middle East, and another direction all the way to the east, where people inhabited these islands and Indian subcontinent. 
You see, Africa is not only our ancestral home, but it is the birthplace of humanity itself. But what proof do we have, you may wonder? Archaeological discoveries have revealed the bones of our ancient kin, Homo sapiens, scattered across the African landscape, providing us with undeniable confirmation of Africa's role as our ancestral homeland. The deeper you go into these rock layers, the more prominent Homo sapiens are in other parts of the world. Let us take a moment to appreciate the incredible diversity and adaption, reminding us of the rich tapestry of cultures and civilizations stretched deep into the African soil through the in sapiens dating back to 300 yeah they unearthed an almost complete fossil skeleton belonging to an early human ancestor of our species whom they affectionately named Lucy after the Beatles song journey Ethiopian culture and heritage the same place where Lucy was found Ethiopia religion is characterized by a strong connection to nature ancestral worship and the belief in supernatural forces and spirits it incorporates elements of animism or various aspects of the natural world such as rivers, mountains, and trees, are considered to possess spiritual essence and are revered accordingly. The practice of Ethiopian religion involves rituals, ceremonies, and offerings to appease and seek blessings from the ancestral spirits and deities. These rituals often take place in sacred sites, such as forests, groves, mountains, or ancient stone structures known as Mazgabas. It is important to note that the Ethiopian religion is not a homogenous belief system, but rather a collection of diverse regional traditions and practices. Different ethnic groups within Ethiopia have their own unique variations of its indigenous faith, often incorporating local customs, beliefs, and cultural elements. With the spread of Christianity and Islam in Ethiopia, Ethiopian religion has experienced a decline in adherence particularly in urban areas. However, it still holds significance and remains practiced by a considerable number of people, particularly in rural communities, where traditional beliefs and customs continue to thrive. The Aksumite religion, also known as Aksumite polytheism, refers to the religious practices and beliefs of the Aksumite Empire, the ancient kingdom located in present-day Ethiopia. Aksumite civilization flourished from seconds worshipped by the people. The primary deity known Mahren, also known as Astar, was considered the supreme god and the protector of the Aksumite kingdom. Mahren was associated with the sky rain and fertility and the stars in the sky at night the Aksumite kings who held significant religious and political authority were believed to be direct descendants of Mahren solidifying their divine status and legitimacy in addition to Mahren the Aksumite pantheon included other gods and goddesses such as Astar, Bahir Medir and Waraka. Each deity had specific domains and worship of themselves for various purposes, including fertility, protection, agriculture, prosperity. The Aksumites practiced ancestor worship as well, believing that deceased ancestors played a role in the spiritual well-being and guidance of the living. They would honor and venerate their ancestors through rituals and offerings seeking their blessings and assistance. Aksumite religion was closely intertwined with the political and cultural aspects of the empire, 
temples and religious structures. 